Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. So today I want to show you guys how to use Weibo OTO. One triggers the other order, and this is fairly simple to use if you are following along. And this is really beneficial for those who are busy or don't have time to look at their stock or the stock market in general. But there is a downfall to this. It's basically if you don't have a margin account and if you do one of these setups, it could cost you three trades in one day. And if you're just really uh, putting the, uh, the prices really close together. So that's the downfall to this. I personally use this uh, here and there. I don't use it all the time because I like to uh, watch my stocks. <laughs> so that's just me personally. So without further ado, I'm going to just go ahead and jump into my account. So currently right now I am looking at Zillow. Zillow is trading around $43.99. So I'm almost $44. So scroll, if I go all the way down over here, click on trade. Uh, right now for the order type, now you're on the order page, order type right over here. Instead of limit, click on that, scroll down, and then you'll select the one. One triggers the other orders. So right over there. So now it's OTO. So now you be, this is different from what you originally see. So now you have a primary order. So basically this has to execute first. You could read the description, by the way. This has to be executed first in order for all the other orders to be, um, be in place. And they are independent from each other. So basically, if you do something uh, on this order, this order right over here will not be affected. But but it doesn't have to be uh, contradicting to uh, one of the orders. So I'll explain later on as well. So currently, let's say I want to buy um, a Zillow stock. So currently, I'm going to click on Zillow. And then I'm going to scroll down over here and hit a uh, price limit. I'm going to choose, let's say... 30 40 40 dollars let's say i want to buy uh zillow at 40 dollars i'm going to scroll down over here and just hit buy and this is one this is primary order uh number one so for in order for this to work this order has to uh be filled so right now currently zillow is trading around 40 44 dollars it's not going to hit this price but now i'm going to add another order so i'm going to go ahead and click add right now I'm gonna do a sell order. So if this order gets filled, the second order will be a sell order. And I could do a buy order, obviously. So right now, uh, if I hit this order, scroll down, I wanna sell this at, let's say, to $47, or $47. And I'm gonna be scrolling down and then hit sell. This will place an order like this. Now, let's say you did something, um, you want to do uh, let's say you want to do another sell order it's not going to let you so on the bottom right over here it has a message that it's contradicting your uh, order right now because you only have one now how are you going to sell two because you only have one if this order gets executed so what you want to do is make sure that you have enough uh let's say if you do you could do a buy order on this one so i'm going to click on the second uh this order right over here so i'm going to hit a buy and i put a limit order of let's say it just it could be any amount so 40 let's just say 43 dollars and then hit next next and then hit buy and that's totally fine and make sure and then now that maybe you want to do a sell order watch there's a caveat to this if you do a sell order it will not go through because your original order you only have one so you have to make it equal uh amounts to to the sell so if you're buying one make sure uh you only have one sell if you're buying if you're going to be selling two make sure this is two orders so quantity right over here the primary primary order has to be two and then hit buy and that will get rid of the error message that you have so that's how you set this up right over here so right now it is saying that i want to buy i want to buy zillow at forty dollars uh two i want to buy two uh, zillow shares at forty dollars once that's executed all of these will be executed uh, all of these will be in a pending order as well and if for some reason zillow hits all the way to 47 dollars it will sell at 47 dollars and i'll make a profit and and if for some reason zillow drops down to you know or uh drops or goes back up to 40 43 dollars i'm gonna be buying as well at 43 dollars one of these shares and for some reason if zillow decides to you know you hover around the $43.93, it'll be selling that as well. So I originally, so if I do this order, I'll be making a profit. So this is for me to uh, make a profit. And obviously you could put, uh, you know, losses, you can sell it at a different price. Uh, let's say you want to sell it at, you know, below $40, let's say $35, you could do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and place an order. 
right over here. And it, this is all going to be in a working pending order because it's not going to go through. Currently, Zillow is trading at $44. That's why. So right over here, you can see your order all over here. And then I'm going to hit place order. And it's been set out. So there you go. So right now, if you want to modify the order, let's say if you're not happy with the price, let's say you don't, you don't want to sell at $47, you want to go higher, you could obviously click that and then scroll down over here and adjust the price. So let's say you want to make a little bit more money to $48, you could do that. Click next, next, and then hit modify order. And then right now, this will reflect that. So right now, currently, I just changed it to $48 right over here and that's how you place an oto order hope that's kind of helpful for you guys to see and obviously if you want you could cancel the order entirely so that's how you do it uh if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment down below and by the way if you haven't already downloaded weeble yet feel free to do so since they are still giving out free stocks to you guys anyways i'll catch you all next week